All right, Cancer, so we're doing something a little different today. We're doing who's your, your next big relationship. If you're in a relationship, you don't even have to watch. If you are in a relationship, you want to watch just to see if things are going to work out with your person, you know, or if you are not looking for a relationship, this read might not be the best for you. So what do we want Cancer to know about their next big relationship? Cancer for their next big relationship. Next big relationship for Cancer. Pisces was a reconnection from the past and um, Scorpio is a new person. So we'll see what you get. Tell me about Cancer's next big relationship. This person is probably lacking financially for sure. It's because of like lack of ambition. Um, they are not confrontational. But we do have the tower in reverse. What's the tower in reverse? Let's, um, I see brown hair. Yeah, honestly, this tower in reverse is just like, they need to get their shit together. I feel like they kind of probably like were depleted at some point or down in the dumps or just like lacking like the ambition. And now they're kind of like stuck. Okay. And you'll know when you meet them. You might meet them during the eclipse that's coming up, but we'll see if you don't already know who this person is. They are going through a period where they really need to start taking care of themselves, by the way, that card just tried to flip. Hopefully you can help them. Could be a Pisces, could be an Aquarius. Um, I feel like they might seem a little cold at first, definitely a little distant. Um, they are full of emotions, but they are going to be holding back because um, definitely could be a Pisces. If not a Pisces, a fellow Cancer. They're holding back because of how, like how they're they're like evaluating their own life and going, you know, I don't really want to burden somebody else with my problems. 111 is relevant as well. Anything to do with 11s or 1s. Um, oh, Cancer, you're going to meet them at a pivotal time in your life where your, your abundance is actually looking better, whether it's financial or you are looking to move or you just finally got out of a relationship that you were just like dying to get out of. That's when you're going to meet them. Do I think that they live at a distance? They might. They may live at a distance. You might feel a little bit of a rejection from them. You guys could have like some, um, you guys could have some amazing sex actually. Yeah, but things are not gonna turn out exactly how you want. So expect things to go um, in a direction that you weren't prepared for. Be careful, Cancer. Be careful because I feel like um, you might you might overlook a lot of red flags with this person because you feel like they're like a divine um, um, situation for you. You feel like they came into your life at just the right time, and they you know possess all these gifts that you really like, and you know they look just the certain way that you want them to, but. In reality, there's a lot of things this person's saying. There are a red flag and you're just kind of like ignoring it, I think. They might also be tied to something so they can't like necessarily like travel to you or always come see you or, or you know, something of that nature. I feel like also it could be family related, okay? So they might have some family issues. The number 10 is relevant, the number one is relevant. Um, they have some family issues that are really bogging them down. Um, they may have family members that are not, you know, for this relationship whatsoever. Um, I feel like you guys might have to, almost like, I actually feel like you might elope, 
you guys might elope, I'm not kidding you. Like that just came out very clearly. Um, I don't know that people will take it very well, but that definitely could happen for you. Um, I do see a move. Again, I feel like if, there, if somebody moves, somebody's not gonna like it. Um, else your person doesn't wanna move or you don't wanna move or a family doesn't want this person to move. Tell me more about Cancer and their next person, please. I'm still seeing brown hair or blonde hair, Cancer. Mostly brown, I'm seeing brown hair. I feel like there will be a healing period between the two of you where they're gonna finally get better. Um, they're definitely gonna feel a little more um, energized with you around. else you all right so i feel like once you guys establish this relationship one of you is going to have somebody try to come back into the life whether it's your person or you um and this would be somebody that you else used to be married to or they were married to or somebody you have children with something of that nature and if if neither one of you were married and have children then this would be like a parental person and um something's gonna change the the course for you guys when this happens okay i don't know what that is yet so let's find out this would be somebody you, you guys were separated from take it as it resonates i do feel like somebody has a child though i don't think it's going to be anything horrible like whatever it is i do feel like I do feel like they're gonna walk away from any past person if they come back into their life. I feel like you you would as well. I do see that um, financially they will get better as well. Is this a long lasting relationship for cancer? Is this a long, it looks like it is cancer it looks like a kind of messy situation but long lasting is this a long lasting relationship for cancer oh the unknown we have the unknown here we have abundance and the unknown damn cancer it's like really we don't have a like a sincere direct answer here like hold on let me let me pull from a different deck deck I love this whole maybe, maybe, it will this be a long lasting situation for cancer. Maybe, maybe. We don't have a complete, I don't have an answer. Sorry, cancer. So for some of you, yes, this is gonna be a long lasting relationship and for others, maybe it fizzles out over time. But that is your next person. I hope that this helps.